Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, before we get started on today's adventure, I've got a little uh, little promo to give on some boots here. I've been reviewing them for the past, uh, oh, about a month or so. I've done a turkey hunt, a couple of turkey hunts with them. I've been uh, hiking in them just a little bit here and there, and now I'm using them in a mine where it's just really muddy, it's really mucky. So check these things out. The company's called Cal Cal or Calc Al. Not exactly sure how you pronounce it, to be honest. As you can tell, I've been using them quite a bit. There's quite a bit of mud on them already. I've uh, been mucking through all this stuff. It's pretty muddy in here. First thing I noticed when I put these boots on is comfort. Uh, very, very, very comfortable. Very soft inside. <clears throat> oh, a little grass down there. Oops. But very, very soft inside material. They're warm. Um, I my feet are not wet. They're not cold at whatsoever. Um, hunting. Uh, they're very, very comfortable to hike around in and stuff like that. Um, like I said, they're keeping the water off. The camo on it worked extremely well. Um, it's a good boot overall so far. Um, kick through many brush, a lot of brush and uh, mesquite bushes and stuff like that. And the front of this rubber and the front seems to hold up just, just fine. Um, yeah, this is what they look like on the old feet here. They come up quite a bit, so you get a lot of coverage uh, of water, muck, anything you want. There's some straps on the back here. Uh, you can tighten them. So uh, yeah, so through the mine stuff, the muck, and all that stuff, they've been awesome. The only con that I have found about the boots so far is they're extremely warm. So if you're hiking, doing a long hike, like on a uh, real hot day, they're probably not going to be real, real comfortable in the long run. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on these boots. But that's that's my review so far. They're extremely comfortable. Um, they've held up through hunting and some mine activity already today and yesterday. And uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed with them, guys, to be honest with you. So um, yeah, cow cow or cow cow cow, however you say it. But uh, yeah, check them out. Welcome back to another Zia Mountain Adventure. I am in a new mining district with Frank from Exploring Abandoned Mines and Unusual Places. I'll put the link to his channel down in the description below. Uh, before we get started on this first, first at it here, um, right in front of me, um, I want to discuss one thing. You guys are always asking me, uh, do you guys go in there with like no air monitors because you're nuts, etc.? Yes, we, I have air monitors, but today I am going to use the uh, forensics for air monitor here. So it covers quite a bit of ground. So um, yes, so to answer y'all's question, yes, safety first. Let's flip the camera around and let's get going on this first at it. All right, guys, here is looking at our portal. We got some cool timber work and a really cool little door here. I don't think it's very big, so that's why I'm just leaving my pack here. So, walking in, huge temperature change, nice and cool. Tons of gnats. We got some old, rusted rail. Let's go. Compressor line here. Oh no. Don't tell me it's collapsed up ahead. Hope not. Well, it's muddy right here. Oh, what a bummer. Uh, there's definitely no way getting through that. The bugs, I think, are getting through. Airflow is getting through, like right there, but we are not getting through. 
Oh, bummer. Let's turn around. What a bummer. Okay, guys, let's see if we can't find another one. There's supposed to be, I think, two more in this canyon. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, so we're just walking along this uh, ravine here, and I saw this up here. It's kind of odd. Uh, there's not a, a portal or anything or at it. Let me put my pack down and see if we can't see over that. So as you guys can see, this is way taller than I am. No way I'm gonna be able to climb up on this stuff. It's definitely unstable. Could not get into that one. Check out this big pipe. But we couldn't couldn't get into that. So um, we are hiking to the next couple of locations, and hopefully we can get into something today. That'd be good. We'll see what happens on the next location. All right, guys, we've been hiking forever, and in, as you can tell, it is dark, but we finally made it up here to the mine site, and there are some buildings. Let's check this out. Kind of creepy. Looks just like a, a, a kind of workshop. I don't think there's also like a hoist a room or anything. Lots of graffiti. All right, guys, so that's just a couple of buildings here and uh, we have a portal and a tunnel right over here. So let's let's get in there and check this out. All right, guys, we just walked into the portal. I'm sure you can hear in the camera, the wind is just ripping out of here. It is cold. <laughs> it is some seriously cold wind. So uh, let's head on in, see what's in this one. Here we go. Looking right to the right, got some kind of cable. Big timbers. Big rock wall right here for some strange reason. Let's see here. Let's just shoot a light real quick. Interesting. <clears throat> If you guys remember, I'm with Frank from Exploring Abandoned Mines and Unusual Places. And uh, our buddy Justin showed up later on today and uh, his channel is Abandoned Underground. So there's some moist smells right here. It's damp right there. It's like a big metal. That's yeah, solid. Why would they seal this up, I wonder? Like that. That is a mystery. If you guys have any ideas on why they would seal up a drift this much, what's behind there? Huh, interesting. 
All right. Let's get back to the uh, main haulage coming in, and we'll pick it up there. So we just came from that drift there, looking straight up. All right, let's head further down the tunnel. What we got here? Got another drift heading off to the right. Let's go, stick to the right. Timber up here, maybe holding some lines or something, possibly. Big tunnels, got a little rail here. Buried rail here. Ooh. What we got going on here? Storeroom here. Yeah. A drift that they stopped, filled in, maybe used for a little tool action here. Tool bench, possibly. So big thick timbers up in here. Looks like we've got the same thing there. Just a, another drift that kind of stopped. They filled it in with timbers and all kinds of junk. And we got another. Looks like another collapse in front of us. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's, uh, we're not getting through any of that. We'll have to turn around and uh, we'll head back to the uh, main haulage and continue on. We just came out of that drift that Frank's coming out of there, looking back towards the uh, portal. Justin's way down there. So, turning around in front of us, we have, well, they attempted to go this way, but nothing was happening there. Looks like we're coming into a big, big room here. Lots of airflow. Some electrical stuff here. Looks like we have a massive winds. Big I beams going across. Looks like we got a skip system. Wow, look at this. Nice. That is pretty cool. Yep, goes down there quite a ways, guys. <laughs> Let's do the rock test just for fun. We probably won't even hear the bottom, but... Let's see what happens. Wow, <laughs> I didn't even hear it hit bottom or it just keeps going. No, holy moly. Flywheel up there, that's crazy. That's cool. The cable's coming down. Nice. To the old hoist system. Very cool. This is like what we saw down in the creek. Remember that piece of metal I showed you? Oh yeah, that's like right. The flywheel, you said, it looks like one of these, maybe. The cover to the, the gear, yeah. The cover for something. No, you're exactly right. That's exactly what we saw. Full gauge left. It ain't got no oil in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Exactly, look inside there. Yeah, we squeezed through there back way before the COVID days. Wanna give it a shot? Do it, Todd. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's, what's in there? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Interesting. I miss this over here. Got a receiver tank, looks like, or something. So I guess we're gonna head this direction. Uh, this is just all filled in here. Pretty decent. Uh, uh, pretty good collapse, but it looks like Maybe we could go through there. Not sure. You feel air, oh, air is like ripping through here. You can see Frank coming through that little bee hole. We just crawl through to get through that. So looking ahead, yeah, continues on. So let's go. see some of that. That looks like some goodies to me. As far as I know, I think this was a, uh, this is a silver one. All right, so we got some whole electrical there. Oh man. <sighs> Going a little slower than normal. I, uh, still recovering after that meniscus tear. All right, so some elect electrical, all kinds of junk fell down there. Some rail, used to be timber. All right. Just a big stope. Cool, I actually get to see a little bit of stope action. Nice. Let's get a little more light, get a little closer here. Wow, it goes down there too. Can't even see the bottom. Really cool looking pillar here. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, that was still rolling. <laughs> Let's see what we got over here. Oh, we got a crazy looking uh, ore chute. Boy, that sucker's dilapidated. Look at all that electric line. A little electric line hanging off there. Let's get a closer look. Wow, this thing's about to crumble over any moment, I'd say. Looks pretty gnarly. Looks like we can pass, though. All right, back to track. Compressor line. Cool. 
Ah, this one's turning out to be pretty cool. Real, real muggy right here. I just all of a sudden started seeing my breath. Yeah, right there. Wow. You can tell the temperature and the, the difference of the environment change. Got real moist right here. Everything's real rusted, dilapidated. You can smell smell all the the old wet wood in here. Oh look at this. That probably punches into that stope right there too. Cool. Continuing on. Old rusted tin here. Hmm. Looks like there might have been maybe some kind of door or gate. Oh, this was probably a chute. Yeah, this was a chute. Huh. Massive boulder kind of stuck in the way here. I wonder, I wonder if it keeps going. Wow. That is a big boulder, no doubt. Oh, this is pretty crazy. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Let's let's get out of here. Holy crap. Wow. Now, this is that's not very good. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Okay. We made it past that one. Looks like we got a Maybe another one ahead. Oh man, I just sunk in about an inch on this weird yuck. Weird. That's all kind of bubbly. Oh man, this is all mucky. Oh dude. <laughs> Yeah, nah, there's a little bitty hole up there, but I'm not. Eh, I'm good. That looks pretty crazy to me. I don't know what's back there, but it's, uh, it doesn't appear to me that my big old body's gonna get through that. That looks a little too tight for me. 